You know, a lot of people think designing architecture is like this magical burst of inspiration. An architect has a genius idea and boom, the building appears. But if you are in the field, you know it's not like that at all. It's a process. It all begins with a simple thought, just an idea for a vision of what the final result might look like. Recently, I've been speeding up that creative process by using this AI tool that transforms those initial ideas into something truly remarkable. And I'll show you my recipe to get your prompts to the next level and get the best results. Meet Imagine Art, an all-in-one creative suite. Imagine Art asked me to show you guys their tool, and this is just another design tool. It's like having a creative partner that helps bring your ideas to life. So whether you are a designer, photographer, animator, interior designer, or content creator, this tool does everything in one place. Let me walk you through some of the features that really improve my workflow. So let's start the video by talking about the Photogen tool. It's a truly game changer, a tool with endless creative possibilities. And the real question is, what can't you do with it? This tool has features like text-to-image, uh, text-to-png, creative upscale, and restructure and style. I'll start with the tool I rely on the most in my creative process, text-to-image. Over time, I've developed a method that helps me consistently create visuals that closely match what I imagine. Think of it as my personal recipe for getting the best results with AI. The first words of your prompt have the most influence. So I always begin with the powerful modifier. This could be something like a term that sets the tone, such as modern, minimalist, or industrial. Starting strong helps anchor the direction of the final output. Instead of generic terms like building or house, I like to think outside the box. For instance, instead of saying cabin, I might describe it as a slick glass and steel cabin nestled in the middle of a dense pine forest. The more detail and creative you get, the more interesting and unique the result will be. Adding materials gives your prompts a sense of realism and style. For example, specifying burnished bronze, polished concrete or weathered wood can completely change the aesthetic. These material cues help steer the design in the right direction. Details are where the magic happens. I include elements like golden hour lighting, rain slick cobblestones or lush greenery creeping up the walls. These specifics help bring the image to life and give it a polished, cohesive feel. Colors set the tone. Whether you are going for moody blues, earthy greens or warm amber hues, color descriptions can guide the overall palette and make your image feel more intentional. For extra flair, I reference specific styles, artists or designers. For example, inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright in the style of Scandinavian minimalism or evoking the cinematic mood of Blade Runner. This kind of modifiers push the creativity boundaries and make the output stand out. Aspect ratio plays a big role in how the image feels. I usually go with 16x9 for cinematic visuals, but for vertical designs that I can use in my social, I'll use 9x16. If I'm going for a more detailed or focused shot, 4x5 works well. Adjusting this detail ensures your image is optimized for its intended platform. Lastly, I tweak the creativity, model, style, lighting, and even camera settings. Sometimes I push the tool to explore bold and imaginative options, while other times I dial it back to, for something grounded and realistic. Experimenting with these settings lets you strike the perfect balance. So, experimentation is key. This method isn't just about getting the perfect image on the first try. It's about exploration. Adjust your prompts, test different variations, and see where the AI takes you. Often, the most exciting results come from happy accidents and surprises. For example, I found that I get the most realistic and better results when I choose Instagram in the Models section. So go ahead and give it a shot. This process has transformed the way I create, and I'm sure it will open up new creative possibilities for you too. Next, we have the Text to PNG tool. Need transparent backgrounds for your assets? This tool is a lifesaver, giving you clean, versatile PNGs that integrate seamlessly into your projects. 
As a 3D artist, some other tools stood out to me. Reimagine and Creative Upscale. Reimagine lets you take an existing image and completely transform it. Not happy with the mood you are getting in? Say, an interior design? No problem, upload your image, choose from more than 20 models, set your aspect ratio, style and camera, specify how many images you want, from one to four, and adjust the prompt. In seconds, you will have multiple variations to choose from. And Creative Upscale ensures your designs look sharp and detailed. Whether it's refining an older image or enhancing a generated design, this tool helps you achieve stunning results regardless of the resolution. Next, let's dive into one of the newest tools introduced by Imagine Art, Imagine Sketch. The possibilities here are virtually endless. You can start with a quick sketch drawn directly on the page, capture an image from your screen, or even use your camera to upload the photo. For this demo, I'll use this sketch. On the left side of the screen, I'll click on Media and upload the image. Here's where it gets exciting. Once the sketch is uploaded, you can customize how you want the generated image to look by adjusting the options on the right side panel. For this example, I will start by selecting a picture style and you will see why in a moment. One thing that truly impressed me is how fast the image is generated. And if you are not happy with the initial output, you can click Variate and adjust the creativity level to get different results. Before I start creating a more cinematic visual, I'll use another handy feature, Clone. By clicking the Clone button in the top right corner of the generated image, I ensure that the next image I generate will build on the style of the previous one. I found this approach helps create results that are closer to what I'm envisioning, and it allows me to fine-tool the details as I go. This tool is perfect for those moments when you have an idea, but don't want to spend hours refining it. Just sketch it out and Imagine Sketch transforms it into a detailed, professional quality visual. The next tool is perfect for bringing your projects to life. Once you've developed a solid concept, it's time to take it to the next level with Videocraft. This tool transforms your static renders into smooth, dynamic animations. With Videocraft, you can add motion through custom camera angles, experiment with lighting presets, and choose your desired style. You can even select the aspect ratio that suits your needs. For example, I'll go with 9x16 so I can easily share the generated video on my socials. In addition to upload an image, you can use the prompt enhancer to refine your ideas and generate animations with even more precision. It's kind of like taking your designs off the page and make them come alive. Whether you are showcasing a sweeping aerial view of a landscape or an interior walkthrough, Videocraft helps you tell the story behind your design in a truly captivating way. And it doesn't stop there. Alongside image to video, you also have the option to create animations using text to video, generating stunning visuals with nothing more than a few descriptive words. And here's a tip for you. You can also click on a video you find great and copy the prompt, then generate it by pasting the prompt and using the same video model. And like I mentioned before, Imagine Art is still growing. You can expect exciting new tools like Train Models and Music Studio in the near future. So if you're ready to push the boundaries of what you can create, give Imagine Art a try. The game changer for architects, designers and creatives of all kinds. Thanks for watching, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe for more design insights, and let me know in the comments what's the first thing you would create with Imagine Art. And see you next time!